Oh man, good thing you came. Israel and Palestine are fighting again. Oh man, best fix this. I'll be back. Why you little? Don't worry, I have the solution right here. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> That looked like it hurting. Ah, uh, yes, the UN doing all sorts to help this situation. What else is new? I feel like their strategy for a while now has just been to start cooking some popcorn. And I think this has been going on for decades. I feel like we could use more country balls in a WWE ring style match. Hey, UK, what you doing? Oh, I'm just molding a country from the Ottoman leftover clay. Oh, the Ottomans are like Play-Doh here. But that doesn't look like a country. If you pinch your eyes, it kind of does. Is the UK trying to make a country ball into a cube? Wouldn't this be splendid if it was a real country one day? It might be a more reliable ally than the USSR or France. Meanwhile, the UN looking off in the distance. Your wish shall coming's true, UK. Poof! What of is? Aw, look at it. It's so cute. Shalom, I'm a real country now. Is not real country. Is just puppet, says Iran. Can we keep it? Please let us keep it. This is like a really nice way to say the British are to blame for all this. It's not really exactly this wholesome, though. The British did mold Israel out of Ottoman clay. The Ottomans pretty much just got carved up completely after World War One until it didn't exist anymore. And here's the British and French with that same territory during World War Two. I'm gonna go bother Israel today. Hey, Israel. Huh? Who is you? I'm not really recognizing you. You all look the same to me. I'm the UAE. Now give monies for trade. Oh, wow. Look, it was literally that easy. All Palestine had to do is put some shades on and it made them look really rich, just like the United Arab Emirates. Another classic flag joke, but I didn't realize how many more look pretty similar. Israel must have a very confusing time since there's also Jordan, Sudan, and Kuwait. All similar colors, stripe formations, hoists. Oh, look, a friendly game of Monopoly between Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, and Egypt. I into building house into Pennsylvania Avenue. But Israel, I own Pennsylvania Avenue. You cannot to build your houses on my properties. Oh, I, oh, okay. I, I, I see. How have I never seen this comic before? I'm actually kind of sad it ends right there. I want to see more from this Monopoly game. Hello, UN. I have a gift for you. Aw, thank you very much, UK. It's problem. Israel and Palestine. It's just a note. What? Okay, Britain, this was this was a horrible gift. I don't know why he did that. And the UN has been avoiding it all along. I like how these are two very major characters when it comes to the country ball universe and discussing Israel and Palestine. You wouldn't think it, but uh, they show up a lot in these comics. In name of Allah, I am free state. You should stop reading Quran. What the foul ya? Stop it, you gurries. Oh man, my Irish accent is horrible. <laughs> I just want to apologize in advance. But Israel won't let me free. You started it. You mates just can't keep fighting like this, responds Ireland. Hehe. <laughs> No more. I have a fierce good solution for your situation, mates. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I am a genius. Meanwhile, um, I think they just brought them to the pub. Russia's making bets on who's gonna win. Scotland's definitely regular here. Uh, I'm not really sure this is going to help the situation much, Ireland, but, uh, okay. I don't think bartender Germany wants to include more chaos. Of holy land is of Palestine. No is of Israel. Meanwhile, here they are fighting over this sign. Of holy land is of not. Yours. Angelic choir intensifies. Of cannot believe it, my God is real. Wait, what? Your God. God. Hmm. Um, okay. I don't think this helped the situation literally at all. In fact, it might have just got ten times worse. We may never know exactly what this heavenly voice was referring to. He probably wasn't even talking to them. He was probably talking to someone else just like halfway across the world. Those angelic choirs can do that to you, though. Yeah, I can see how the confusion uh, happens here. Hello, my favorite Allah enjoyer, says Iran. Throw rock at Israel and I'll pay you 50 Allah dollars. Deal? Okay. <laughs> Whom dare disturbed my blessed land? Uh, it was him. What? <laughs> because this conflict has been happening for so long, there's like unlimited material about it. Some of these comics come from yesterday. Some of them come from 10 years ago and they all relate. I'm also surprised at how many faces we're seeing here. Like usually when we're dealing with like a certain topic in the country ball universe, it's usually just like two, but there seems to be so many different cameos. Ah, there's our WWE fight. India supports their great and powerful friend, Israel. Thank you, India, for supporting me during my darkest hours as I try to defend my people and my sovereignty. Sovereignty? People? No, I'm supporting Israel because you don't like 
Islam either. Oh, that's right, because of the whole Pakistan thing. I didn't even think about that. That's a completely different situation that isn't happening all that far away either. Also, the chaos has been pretty much happening here in South Asia around the same exact time for the last, like, couple of decades. India has actually been recognizing Israel since 1992. Here's Palestine, not recognized by Israel. The Western Sahara, not recognized by Morocco. Cut here. Kosovo, not recognized by Serbia. And finally, New Zealand not recognized by all map makers. So I guess everyone's kind of dealing with a Palestine-Israel situation. Except for the case of New Zealand, it's pretty much them versus everyone that makes maps. Even the official New Zealand government website will put a page not found of a world map without New Zealand. Something is missing. Everyone's in on the joke at this point. It's just because they're so hidden away in that little corner of a flat map projection that people just forget about them. I am sick of living inside of Israel. I'm leaving, says this little Palestinian ball inside of the cube as they break through. Ah, of sweet freedoms. Huh? No! It's pretty much a cubeception at this point. They can break out of one cube, yes, but what about infinite cubes? I feel like I always have to remind myself exactly why the country ball universe draws Israel as a cube. I look it up like once every couple months and I just can't retain the information. Sup, Israel, says German ball. Hello, I have discovered that countries are actually four-dimensional hypercubes, not spheres. What? They respond. Jewish physics. Meanwhile, um, they don't exist anymore. Doo -doo -doo. This is apparently the original comic that began the trend of drawing Israel as a cube. This actually comes from World War II. If you saw the latest Oppenheimer movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. The no-no Germans during the 1930s banned quantum physics because they thought it was Jewish, basically. Talk about one of the biggest L's of all time. Imagine not listening to Albert Einstein. Is of quiet today too quiet? Maybe I should check on Israel and Palestine. Good idea, says France. Sacred blue. Having any threes? Go fish. Israel, Palestine, I thought you guys despised each other. Of course we don't like each other. That's literally our job. But today is Saturday. Do you expect us to work on weekends too? I is of confused. Some people just can't help but discriminate. So you have any plans on Monday? I know, right? So insensitive. I was thinking of raiding you. Hmm, I was thinking about doing the same. Sounds fun. I guess even the greatest rivalries sometimes need days off. Germany and France know nothing about that. Hey guys, I am finally into a ball, says Israel ball. That just doesn't even sound right. Uh... Guys? Well, Cube is amazing. I like this. Why my color is wrong? Cube will help freedom. Why? Cries Israel. Finally, they're normal, uh, and then they instantly become not normal. Is this a universe where Israel gets rid of their uh, quantum physics and just allows everyone else to do it? Aren't there a lot more than just four dimensions? Didn't we figure out there's like 11? How are we gonna draw uh, country balls into 11 dimensions? That's what I want to know. Maybe in like 100 years. Yeah, according to string theory, one of the leading physics models of the last century, there's possibly 10 or maybe 11 with time. Israel, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why are you a cube? Why are Jews cubes? Silly Deutschland. If the Jews were not of cubes, how could we buildings the pyramids? Finally, a joke about the pyramids. I knew it was gonna be here eventually. Yeah, you kind of intimidated Germany there a little bit, didn't you? It took long enough for this to come up. Praise Allah, we are finally free from England, and we're also without extremism dictating our policies. <laughs> Shalom. Uh, why did you crush our friend Palestine? Oh, boo-hoo. Yeah, deal with it. Let us fight for freedom of our friend. If we stand together as Arabs, we can do anything. Here you go. Uh, I guess we can't win. Looks like we're gonna have to turn to faith. Okay, fine, fine. We will free Palestine. Uh... Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Love the range of these comics that we're getting here. There's just so many ways to depict what's going on. It's like pretty much infinite. From extremely wholesome to not so much. I mean, the wholesomeness isn't really accurate, so. Shalom, Canada. Nice seeing of you to come visiting. Jeez, it's so humid here. Is that why you two are always so heated? No, it's always his fault, they both say. Hey, 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 calm down. You know what I do to de-stress? I eat some comfort food. Here, try this. <coughs> What is this wondrous meat? Is uh, beautiful. I'm so sorry for hurting you. Me too, Israel. Me too. Uh, so this is supposed to be bacon. And bacon is neither haram or kosher. So it's a wombo combo. I guess it's Canadian bacon to be specific. I don't think that's going to change anything. Canada, I'm sorry. I don't think they're going to want to eat it. I mean, I guess that is one way to try something new. It's the year 1967. Ha! Israel strong. Beat you all in six days. 1969. And winning taking of skill Israel tripled the size. 
1971. Did I mention only take six days? Haha, <laughs> so strong. 1973. Surprise! Up for another round. Oh, they. Yeah, uh, there was just a lot uh, during this time. All within like a six year period, too. It just continued to happen. <sighs> Baba, I hearing voice into me. Go prays to Allah and is gone. Hehe, <laughs> okay, says Qatar. But thinking's about it, my back also itched too. Oh, there's a Indian ball, Iran ball, Pakistan ball, a Filipino ball, Bangladesh ball. They're all inside Qatar. I'm not sure if that's really gonna help, but it's an okay suggestion. Yeah, Qatar uh, imports a lot of their work from outside countries. Wait, I thought that was Qatar. That actually might have just been Dubai. I wasn't sure if they were able to get like, I don't know. I thought the pixels, that, it threw me off. This is now the first time I'm realizing the Dubai flag is is very similar to guitar in a way. I mean, you can see how I can be confused if you do like a Minecraft sort of pixelated style. Although Qatar does use kind of a different color. But both probably could be interchangeable in that comic. And big thanks to my patrons this Drew, month. I'm your dad, back with the milk. Look outside! Carino is best girl! The clone's training is complete and is Frederick, I can sleep Lad without Australia and is real. Inquisitor I am not serious. a paid actor. The great Ralph John, John's Denver, annoying friends. Sebi, if you hate this, I love you. Good old the Mexican 7, 6, 5, 6, 10. Norwal, Rye, the pie. Caramel, Luxembourg lover. And why am I doing this?